Good morning, boys. Happy Thursday. So today, instead of a reading video, we're going to be doing an art video. And that means we will be creating a craft all together. So this week, the art craft we are going to be making is a snake. Because just like Thursday, you did a dolphin. You drew a dolphin following a video. This week, we're going to be creating a snake. But we're not going to draw it because I think maybe you're drawing too much. So we're going to make it with paper. Now, all the things you need are paper or cardboard. You can use paper if you don't have anything else at home because we can color it with pencils or crayons. Or if you have it, you can use cardboard. I will be making it in both things so you can see the example. Then you're going to need either glue or tape. Finally, you're going to need some scissors. Now, Miss Angela is using really big scissors. I want you to use just normal, normal size scissors. You're also going to need a pencil or colors, whatever colors you want, whatever color markers, that I know you love to use markers, whatever color markers you have, okay? So, okay, let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do first with the paper is we are going to fold it in half. So we match the corners and we press down. There we go, just like if we were making a little book. So when we have our paper in half, we are going to fold it in half again. Make sure to line up the corners and we press down really hard. Okay, and now we have to fold again, but we want it to be really skinny, not fat, skinny. So we fold it like we're making a hot dog. We match the corners and we press. Press really hard because the paper is getting thick, so it's gonna be harder to press. Okay, once we have this, what we are going to do is now open the paper. When you open your paper, you should see eight stripes. Now, the first example, Miss Angela did it on a normal piece of paper. So what we're going to do now, you can take markers and you can decorate each line, okay? Now we decorate the other side. papers colored you need to cut each paper in a stripe make sure you follow the little lines you made when you were folding that you are cutting carefully okay so now we have all these different designs for our snake because we want our snake to be super long we need to cut them in half I know that you boys are super cutters, so what you can do is get three pieces of paper, we put them together, and we can cut three or two at the same time. There we go, just like that. One, two, three, we put them together. On any extra piece of paper that you have, we need to draw the shape of a rounded triangle to make the head of our snake. So we're drawing a triangle with rounded edges and we cut it. So this should be the final shape we have. What we do now we get one paper, we turn it, and we make a little circle. To make the little circle in one of the edges, we're going to put some glue. And we press. Did you see what I did there? 
So now we have one. We get a different piece of paper, but instead of making the circle differently, we put the paper inside, just like that. We put the glue and we press. Do you see what we're doing? They're making a chain. Now they're stuck together. And we continue. The glue goes on the side with color because otherwise our designs would be on the inside. Perfect. So now we have the body of our snake. What do we have to do now? Now we have to choose which side we want it to be the head. I am going to choose this side where I started. What am I going to do? I'm going to flatten a little bit. I'm going to take the head, the triangle head that we made. And before I glue it on, I am going to decorate it. to put glue in the back of my head. I'm going to put the tongue. Here's my snake face. Now I'm going to put more glue on my snake's face on the top. And I am going to glue it to the snake body. Hi boys, so now that we finished our snake, I'll show you the final result. I have my paper snake, my big paper snake. Doesn't it look very nice? Look at it. You can move it with snake movements from side to side, up and down. And then with the cardboard, you can follow the exact same steps. You cut the paper, you can decorate it. You don't need to decorate it as much because you have color in the background. So I made a small cardboard snake in green. I didn't color the body of the snake because I thought it wasn't necessary. And I made it small. So this would be my baby snake. It's very similar, but smaller. So now you can see my two snakes a big snake and a small snake. So as you can see, there are a lot of options to create your snake. So can you think of any more? How else can we make a snake? What do you think you can do with a paper? Maybe you can roll it up. Maybe you can cut it in circles. You can try at home to make different types of snakes. You can take pictures and send them to me so we can make new crafts next week. Okay, boys, perfect. So last thing I wanted to talk about. We made snakes. Hmm two snakes. Now, what type of animal are snakes? Do you remember? Are they mammals? No. Are they birds? No. And fish? Not that group either. What are they? Reptiles or amphibians? Reptiles, you're right. They are cold-blooded, but their skin is very rough. Very good. So now that you have two reptiles at home. You can either play with them, play with your family, or even scare someone in your house. Hide it somewhere and try to scare them thinking that there's a snake. Okay, boys, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.